Mushroom Sauce TV. What up, what up? Welcome to the Mushroom Sauce TV channel. I am your host, Sauce. <laughs> but before we begin, I first got to pay some bills by our sponsors. I'll be back. Is your garden looking a little lackluster this season? Revive your flowers and vegetables with Muxota Topsoil. Muxota Topsoil provides the vital nutrient your plants crave to reward you with a bountiful harvest. Muxota Topsoil is specially formulated with a rich blend of compost, soil, and natural minerals to boost growth and yield for any garden. For greener gardens guaranteed, trust Muxota Topsoil. Don't settle for tired soil. Visit MuxotaTopsoil.com to get growing. Muxota Topsoil. Your plants deserve the best. I'm back. I'm back. Allow me to reintroduce myself. <laughs> my name is Sauce B. And welcome to my new YouTube channel called Mushroom Sauce TV, where you will get all the sauce about the wonderful world of mushrooms. I'm so excited to start this journey with y'all because I've been fascinated by mushrooms for years, but never had the onions, if you know what I mean, to start growing my own. But before we continue, do us both a favor and hit the like and subscribe button for more content. So you see, I'm a total novice when it comes to mycology. And for those who don't know what mycology is, it's the study of fungi. So enough about that. Let's get right to it. In this first video, I will show you how to inoculate grain spawns. In layman's terms, this is the process of injecting mushroom spores into grains. So what you see me holding on to right now and pointing at is a bag of grain spawns. Next, I have a 70% isopurple alcohol, which I transferred into this particular bottle. And I have Clorox wipes people my, most people would say I'm over the top when it comes to cleaning but you can never be too safe with dealing with fungi now what you see here is what's called liquid spores you can see the little black things inside the syringes that is actual mushroom spores so when mushrooms uh, mature they drop what's called spores kind of like seeds it's real cool also, what you see me holding on to is the needle that you would pretty much put onto that syringe right there to inject the bag you see behind my hand there. Um, obviously, I now picked up the roll of paper towel, marker, and of course, the infamous OJ gloves. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Uh, but as you see, I'm putting on the gloves and, and I'm having a little trouble putting it on. Um, so... I guess you know what they say, if it don't fit, you must have quit. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, you need to have on gloves. Why? Because ultimately the things that you'll be dealing with, you don't want to transfer any type of bacteria or any type of contaminants that will affect your grow. Um, people are very worried about contamination when it comes to growing mushrooms, as you should. So as you can see, even with the gloves on, I'm spraying my hands with the 70% isopurple alcohol. And now the reason why I use 70% isopurple alcohol is because 70% isopurple alcohol stays on surfaces longer and it kills whatever bacteria or any type of germs on the surface, right? So also in addition to that, I got the Clorox wipes. Why? Because it says on the, <laughs> she said it says on the bottle that it kills 99% of germs. And the number one killer of mushroom growth is bacteria and any type of contamination. So when I say I wipe down everything, I wipe down every single thing. What you did not see is that I also wipe down the walls behind there. And I'm and the location in which I'm using this table or this drawer rather is inside of a closet. So some might ask, why are you doing it inside of a closet? Well, it's because Ultimately, I want to get away from all the foot traffic in my household, people breathing, ventilation from the uh, heater or AC vent blowing onto my area in which I'm trying to keep sterile. Because the most important thing about growing mushrooms is that your area, everything that you touch is sterile. You need to clean everything. What you guys did not see is I cleaned the black walls prior to this. Um, so now, like I said, I wiped down the table with... Uh, Clorox wipes. Now I've sprayed the 70% isopurple alcohol to double back on it. You can never, ever, ever be too clean in this process. 
Also, my main objectives of these videos is to show you how to grow mushrooms from cradle to grave economically, which I'm doing myself. So as you can see, that is a five pound grain spawn, which I did myself. And the reason why I decided to do it myself is because I believe that in order for me to learn effectively, I need to be more hands on. Now you can go out and buy uh, grain spawn bags that's already done for you. And it'd probably be easier for you to do that because what it takes to make the grain spawns, you gotta have certain equipment to be able to make it work. So um, as you can see, I'm wiping it down with 70% uh, isopurple alcohol all over the bag. I, again, you can never be too clean dealing with mushrooms. So you wanna try to wipe down everything underneath the bag, on top of the bag, alongside the bag, alongside the, uh, the injection port. You wanna do everything to make sure there's nothing that can, there's no entry points into the grains. Because a lot of times you'll inject the, the liquid spores or culture into the bag and then a few days later or when you start to colonize, meaning that the spores start to work through, this, uh, through the grains, you'll see contamination. And that's not what you want. So, like I said, you can never be too clean dealing with mushrooms. Whoa, would you look at that? Look who decided to join the party. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to liquid spores. Um, the black things you see inside there, those are called spores. That is released by mushrooms that are fully matured and ready to be harvested. And unlike their other produce counterparts, they don't have seeds. They have spores. So now you see me previously shaking the syringe pretty hard, right? And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm breaking down the spores so that when I in when I inoculate the grains or for lack of a better term, impregnate the grains, uh, it would be easier to get it through the syringe, through the needle into the grains. And as you see there, I have the needle which typically comes sterilized because it's already sealed uh, from the manufacturer. So a lot of people, there's been debates about the fact that uh, whether or not you should go ahead and flame sterilize, sterilize the needles or just take, just put it in there as is. Now I know, I know, I know, I said in the beginning, you can never be too clean. But the fact that this, uh, syringe did come from the manufacturer i am trusting that they are doing their job correctly to make sure it is very much sterile so um as i'm screwing it on i'm a bit nervous and the reason why i'm a bit nervous is sometimes i can be a bit in the haste to get the job done and i don't want to mess around and stick myself <laughs> That would be a terrible, terrible situation where I'm having mushrooms growing out of my skin. <laughs> but I'm trying to be as careful as I possibly can. I'm trying to work around a way where, uh, whether, should I do it this way or should I do it the other way? And I'm just trying to prevent myself from sticking myself. So I just pretty much just lifted it up and, and just put the needle inside the, the injection port by the way, that is self-sealant injection port. So I don't need to put um, a microspore tape over the injection port. Um, you can if you want to, a lot of people do, but from based on my research, you don't need to. So I'm injecting about uh, three cc's inside the bag because this is a rather big bag of grain spawns. And so now she's pregnant. thank you thank you you're far too kind <laughs> i appreciate the love people uh no but on a serious note um this is it for the process ladies and gentlemen of inoculating a grain spawn with liquid spores and now that the job is done the only thing i have left to do is label the grain spawn bag and how i typically label the grain spawn bag is i put two things the date and the strain of mushrooms that i'm growing and that's it Oh, but before before I forget, the next step you want to put the inoculated grain spawns somewhere away from kids 
in a preferably in a dark cool area somewhere the temperature is between 60 to 70 degrees and don't go checking on it every single day let it marinate for about two weeks before you check it and a quick shout out to the alazai with for this phenomenal lo-fi beat i appreciate it brother until next time fellas and ladies i love you peace <laughs>